Welcome to Samyans Academy and in this lesson we are going to discuss about some important 50 number of question and answers from the chapter Timeline and Sources of History. Let us start. What is history? History is the study of the human past. Who studies the history of the earth? Geologists, paleontologists, anthropologists and archaeologists study the history of the earth. What is the most widely used calendar around the world today? The Gregorian calendar is the most widely used calendar around the world today. What is timeline? A timeline is a tool that shows important events in the order they happen. What is century? A century is a period of 100 years. What is millennium? A millennium is a period of 1000 years. What is panchanga? A panchanga is a special book that lists the days of each month along with important information about the sun, moon and stars. What are the main sources of a history? The main sources of history are archaeology, epigraphy, anthropology, literature and language. Who helps create history? Historians, archaeologists, epigraphists, anthropologists and literatures and language experts help create history. What is the study of ancient inscriptions called? Epigraphy is the study of ancient inscription. What is the study of what is the study of human societies and cultures called? Anthropology is the study of human societies and culture. What is the study of ancient artifacts and remains called? Archaeology is the study of ancient history, artifacts and remains. How long have modern humans been on the earth? Modern humans have been on earth for about 3 lakhs years. What was the last ice age? The last ice age started over 1 lakh years ago and ended about 12,000 years ago. What happened after the Ice Age? After the Ice Age, life became easier for humans and they began to settle down and grow crops. What were the early humans' lives like? Early humans lived in groups, hunted animals, gathered plants and made tools. What were the sum of the tools early humans used? Early humans used like stone axes, blades and arrowheads. What did the early humans use for the shelter? Early humans used temporary places like camps, rock shelters, caves for the shelter. How did early humans communicate? Early humans communicated using long ways that we no longer know. What did early humans use for jewelry? Early humans used stones, shells or animal teeth to make simple jewelry. What were some of the challenges early humans faced? Early humans face challenges like finding food, shelter and dealing with the natural disasters. How did the early humans adapt to their environment? Early humans adapted to their environment by developing tools, shelter and social structures. What was the significance of the lost ice age? The lost ice age marked the beginning of a new era for humans with more favorable climate conditions is called as ice age. What were some of the developments after the Ice Age? After the Ice Age, humans developed settled agriculture, domesticated animals and more complex societies. What were the meaning of civilization? Civilization refers to a complex human society with urban centers, specialized labor and social hierarchies. Who were some of the early civilization? Early civilizations include Mesopotamia, Mesopotamia Ancient Egypt, Indus Valley Civilization and China. What were some of the achievements of early civilizations? Early civilizations achieved advancement in the writing, architecture, governance and trade. How did early civilization interact with each other? Early civilization interacted through trade, diplomacy and sometimes conflict. What is the significance of studying history? Studying history helps us understand the present and make informed decisions about the future. How can we learn about the past? We can learn about the past through archaeology, written records, oral tradition and other sources. What is the importance of timeline in history? Timeline helps us understand the chronology of events and how they relate to each other. How did historians use sources of reconstruct the past? Historians analyze and interpret sources to create comprehensive pictures of the past. What is the role of archaeology is understanding history? Archaeology provides material evidence of past cultures and societies. How do historians deal with conflicting sources? 
historian evaluates sources critically and consider multiple perspectives to resolve the conflicts what is the significance of gregorian calendar the gregorian calendar is the most widely used cal calendar globally and facilitating international communication how did early humans adapt to their environments early humans adapted through technology innovations social organizations and migrations what were some of the key developments in the human history key developments include agriculture writing urbanization and the emergence of a complex societies how did trade and cultural exchange shape human history trade and cultural exchange facilitated the spread of ideas technologies and innovations what is the role of genetics in understanding human history genetics helps us understand human migration population dynamics and evolu evolutionary process how do historians use anthropology to understand past societies anthropology provides insights to into cultural practices social structures and human behavior what is the significance of concept of civilization civilization marks a significant milestone in human history characterized by urbanization and complex societies how did early civilizations interact with their environments early civilization developed sophisticated agriculture systems architectures and resource management what were what were some of the achievements of ancient civilization achievements include monumental architecture writing systems and governance structures how did historical events shape the modern world historical events have had lasting impacts on global politics economics and cultures what is the importance of preserving historical sites and artic artifacts preserving historical sites and artifacts help us learn from the past and the appreciate cultural heritage how can we apply lessons from history to contemporary issues studying history provides insights into human behavior decision making and problem solving what is the role of historiography in understanding history historiography examine how historical narratives are constructed and interpreted how do historians address biases and perspectives in historical accounts historians consider multiple sources evaluate evidence critically and acknowledge their own biases what is the significance of oral tradition in understanding history oral tradition provides valuable insights into cultural practices social structures and historical events how can we promote deeper understanding of history in society promoting history education cultural exchange and public engagement with historical sites and artifacts can foster and deeper understanding of history thank you for watching please subscribe samyans academy